children today we are going to start a new chapter how big how heavy in this chapter there are so many activities so i thought let us start with an activity look at these two glasses i have filled water in them till the same level and i have tried my level best that the level level of water should be the same in both the glasses now i have a lemon i am going to drop this lemon in one of the glass and let us see what happens okay very gently i will drop the lemon in the glass you can see that the level of water which has lemon has risen up and i know before i dropped the lemon you already knew it is going to rise up so why has it risen up and the reason is lemon has occupied some space in the glass and lemon has pushed the water a little up so dear children the amount of space occupied by this lemon is called its volume so children volume is how much of space the lemon is occupying in water or in air for example this is a soap this soap is in the form of a cuboid now what is a cuboid cuboid is a box which is made up of different rectangles this is a rectangle this is a rectangle and this is a rectangle so this is a box or a cuboid now the volume of this cuboid we can even calculate and you know how we can calculate the volume of this cuboid by measuring its length breadth and height with the help of a scale now it has got length breadth and height we can measure these three dimensions and we have to multiply them so volume of a cuboid is equal to length multiplied by breadth multiplied by height now children since you can see this is a small box so we are going to measure its length breadth and height in centimeter so the volume of this box we will get in centimeter cube when we multiply the length the breadth and the height of the box we get a value and the value has a unit and that unit is centimeter cube so children now you can see this box this is a box which has more than one soap this box has more than one soap so the volume of this box is made up by the volume of the soaps which are there inside this now children i am going to measure the length breadth and height of this so one soap okay this is the 3 cm in height 6 cm in breadth and 10 cm in length so you remember this and now i am going to measure this box big box which has more than one soap it has got more soaps how many soaps i will open and show it to you okay 
the breadth is 10 centimeter the length is 9 centimeter and the width is 6 centimeter so let us see how many soaps are there in this box okay let me open and show it to you see children there are three soaps like this in this box so if without opening the box I want to find out how many soaps are there in this box then what should I do the this box the volume of this box is made by the volume of these three soaps and without opening the box I want to know how many soaps are there in this box so I will divide the volume of this big box with the volume of this one small box and I will get the number of boxes in this big box so children this I am going to do it for you after this demonstration okay remember the volume of big box if I divide it by the volume of small box one box I will get the number of boxes which are there in this big box and you can see there are three soaps in this box right you can see that there are three soaps like this in this box so this I'm going to show you after showing you this activity now children I have got another box which has got soaps let us see how many soaps are there in this box okay have a look at it the po the soaps have been nicely packed inside the box and there are one two three four soaps in the box so these four soaps are occupying the volume of this box if I want to find out the volume of big box and if I measure the volume of one soap and multiply it by four can I get the volume of the big box because the volume of big box how is it formed it is formed by the volume of these four small boxes right so children I will measure the volume of one soap by finding the length breadth and height and then multiplying it to find the volume okay so this is six centimeter this is 9 centimeter and this is 3 centimeter so volume is length multiplied by breadth multiplied by height so I will multiply 6 into 9 into 3 and find out the volume of one soap and after finding the volume of one soap I will find out the volume of the big box by multiplying it with 4 why 4 because 4 soaps are fitting in this box so children this type these type of word problems you will definitely find when you are studying volume and with these soap case soap boxes I have explained it to you how to do them now I am going to do it mathematically. Come, let's do that. The box of one dove soap has length is equal to 10 centimeter, breadth is equal to 6 centimeter and height 
is equal to 3 centimeter. How many such soaps will be there in a pack whose length is 10 centimeter, breadth is 9 centimeter, and height is 6 centimeter? Now, children, the pack is bigger at as it has more number of soaps. So, as I showed you, the volume of the pack is made by the volume of the dove soaps which are there in this pack. So, to find how many soaps are there, we will first find the volume of the pack. Now, volume of the pack is equal to length multiplied by breadth multiplied by height, which is equal to 10 centimeter multiplied by 9 centimeter multiplied by 6 centimeter and this is equal to 9 6 are 54 and 54 10 are 540 centimeter cube. Now this is the volume of the pack. So volume of one dove soap is equal to length of that soap multiplied by breadth and multiplied by height of that soap which is equal to 10 centimeter multiplied by 6 centimeter multiplied by 3 centimeter. Now 6 threes are 18 and 18 tens are 180 centimeter cube. Now this is the volume of one soap and this is the volume of the pack. Now number of soaps which are there in the pack. Number of soaps which are there in the pack can be calculated by dividing volume of the pack by volume of one soap. Now why are we doing so? The reason is that the pack was completely filled by the volume of the soaps which were which were identical. So we are going to divide the volume of the pack by volume of one soap which will give us the number of soaps. So which is 540 divided by 180. Now children since you know the table of 18 you also can make the table of 180. Now 180 ones are 180, 180 twos are 360 and 180 threes are is 540. So 3 is the answer. It means the number of soaps in the pack were 3. So there were 3 soaps in the pack and I showed you also by opening the pack that there were three soaps in the pack. The box of a pure soap has length equal to 9 centimeter, breadth equal to 6 centimeter and height is e equal to 3 centimeter. If a big pack has four peer soaps in it, find the volume of that pack. Now children, first of all, we need to find the volume of one peer soap. 
Now the volume of one pair soap will be equal to length multiplied by breadth multiplied by height. And this is equal to 9 centimeter multiplied by 6 centimeter multiplied by 3 centimeter. Now 9 6 za is 54. 54 multiplied by 3. So let us do 54 multiplied by 3. 4 3s are 12, 5 3s are 15 and 1 16. So the answer is 162 centimeter cube. This is the volume. Children, most important is the unit. We must never forget to write the unit of anything which we are calculating. Here we are calculating the volume. So, 162 centimeter cube is the volume of one pier soap. Now, in this big pack, there are four pier soaps. So, the volume of the big pack, volume of big pack would be equal to four multiplied by the volume of one pier soap and why are we multiplying the volume of one pier soap by four the reason is that there are four soaps in that big pack so four multiplied by 162 now come let us multiply 162 by 4. 4 twos are 8. 6 fours are 24. 4 ones are 4 and 2 6. So the volume of big pack is 648 centimeter cube. So children in this you have seen how if the volume of 1 soap box is given we can find the volume of the big pack in which four soap boxes have been packed by multiplying it by four so that's all for today children thank you and have a nice day